the spider veins? So spider veins are small dilated blood vessels, very much in the outer layers of the skin. They often present these little blue and red lines on the surface of the skin. The reason why we call them spider veins is that they often take the appearance of a spider's web on the leg. Uh, these veins usually present in our female or women patients and it's typically on the outside of the upper thigh. So that's a very prominent area as well as the inside of the knee. And I suppose that's where the story comes from that you shouldn't be crossing your legs. However, that really has very little to do uh, with the development of spider veins. And then how do varicose veins differ from spider veins? So the differentiation that we make is purely based on size. So when a vessel is smaller than a millimetre in size, we would generally refer to it as a spider vein. And when they become larger than four millimetres in size, we would start referring to them as varicose veins. The, the treatment is or can be different in that the spider veins that are less than a millimetre in size are generally just treated with sclerotherapy. So that to this day is a gold standard in the treatment of spider veins and not the surface lasers that, we, that is uh, sometimes used to burn these veins. Um, and then with larger varicose veins, the treatment becomes very different in that we use different types of uh, sclerotherapy and or other procedures like the endovenous radiofrequency ablation procedure that we do. And depending on the amount of oxygen within the blood, the vein might appear as a blue vein where there's very little oxygen or a red vein where there's a bit more oxygen available in that area. And can one prevent spider veins? Yeah, so there's unfortunately very little that you can do to prevent spider veins. Um, spider veins uh, are often hormonal in nature. That's why we see probably 95 out of 100 patients being women patients with spider veins. Um, so it's very closely linked to estrogen, we believe. Um, there's not much that you can do in the prevention of those veins. Most patients at the age of 50, well, in fact, about 50% of people at the age of 50 would have some sort of spider vein somewhere on their legs. Thank you.